Hello everyone, this is Sketchdoodle Draw 17. I'm Jan, and in this series I'd like to take a drawing all the way from pencils, rough pencils, to tight pencils, to digital inks, colors in Photoshop, all the way, taking about half an hour at each step along the way. Um, it's been, a, it's been quite some time since my last episode in which I asked people for suggestions about what to draw. And a fellow artist by the name of Marshall, who you can find uh, in the links down below, Marsh Makes Art, sent me some pictures of himself to have fun with. And that's what I finally got around to doing. Uh, it's been a long time since I've drawn a portrait full on like this. I do, I haven't had a lot of time drawing in the past month because my, my main focus has been um, my new job, my new house, my new neighborhood, living here in Barcelona, Spain. But um, yeah, it was. It's been a while since I've I've actually sat down with a nice big piece of paper and just draw away, draw, get the likeness down, and you know have fun cross hatching and not worry about style and like the kind of art I've been making for my comic book and like how I'm going to do that and where it's going and there's been a lot of thinking about that as I've kind of stepped away from the comic book as well for a while. Um, yeah, this is my first online outing in I'd say about a month, not counting, you know, the odd picture on Instagram. Uh, it's been fun. I, I mean, I took about an hour and a half, I'd say. So condensed it here conveniently for you in about, into about, I think, six or seven minutes. But um, yeah, it's been good fun making a piece like this. Can't wait to put this up all online for you to see and um, get back into making comics. Because that's the real project. So yes, a um, little, little bit of plastic surgery. You know, um, I find one of the hardest things when it comes to making the likeness is being super focused. At some point, you just kind of lose track of obvious mistakes. And my obvious mistakes, nine out of 10 times, is the face is too thin, even though I'm pretty sure Marshall won't mind. Just... And, um,. And the eyes, like people tend to be cross-eyed or one eye is bigger than the other or they're not, you know, there's that line that comes straight, th straight through her. and uh, I usually get it wrong and so the, the little bit, you know, so that usually needs a little bit of fixing. Um, I totally got carried away with this one, uh, inking digitally. And just started, I just went at it, and it's it's a lot more realistic than I've been wanting to draw lately. But I'm actually quite pleased with how it came out, and I'm actually like this inking brush. I kind of got got into the swing of things because one of the things that I I often find is that to get that really sweet thin to thick line. Like it's it's very sensitive, so it tapers in reverse very quickly. So you get really thin and then get a splot of ink. And so I've kind of been trying to get those lines. And I, what I've been finding is that I just need to the sensitivity for keeping for getting really thin lines tends to always be there. But to get the really thick ones, I need to have a very large brush. So I need to increase in size. So there you saw the pencils on paper and the digital ink side by side. Uh, time to lay down the flats. Um, this is, I didn't really put a lot of thought into colors here. I just kind of, you know, kind of went with the picture a little bit like blue, green, skin tone. It's kind of it. Um, later on, I do, go over it again just a little bit but the main thing is just to get this nice little pop art look you know uh, and keep it under half an hour of course so yeah that'll be it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you do just hit the like button hit subscribe I hope uh, I hope to get my next video out in a, in a more timely fashion 
it for now. I think I need to uh, watch that Road One trailer again. So if you'll excuse me.